Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to World of Warcraft, and in this video we're going to be attempting the Artifact Challenge for the Demon Hunter, which is the Xylem Challenge, and we're going to see just how difficult it is. Now I know I'm a very late to the party here, but that's because every time I've been meaning to record this video, uh, the Mage Tower has either been destroyed, or I just haven't really felt like doing it at the time. So it's been really really annoying, and I've been meaning to do it for weeks, months, but finally I am ready and finally I have the legendaries and equipment and gear and everything I need to do this challenge. So in this video we're going to be seeing just how difficult it is and seeing just how many attempts it takes us. And then at the end, or during the winning attempt, I will be explaining the strategy that I use to beat it. To help any of you guys out there who may or may not be struggling. Because considering the gear is a lot better now than it was mind getting out of the way because considering gear is a lot better now than it was when the challenge first came out I'm guessing that it's a lot easier now but who knows maybe it scales I could be wrong on that but either way I'm gonna be going into the challenge now and let's see just how difficult it is so let's go Hey guys, Editing Mongoose here, and I'm here to give you guys a full rundown on how to do the Xylem Challenge as a Havoc Demon Hunter. Now there won't be any game audio in this video unfortunately because my recording program for some reason didn't pick it up and as a result the footage was completely silent, so I'm sorry if that's annoying to some of you. But anyway, when going into Xylem Challenge there are a few things that you should consider, and those are your talents, your legendaries, your eye level, and of course your buffs. Now for talents, you're going to want to equip Blind Fury for the AoE and for the Fury, Demonic Appetite for the healing and the Fury, First Blood for the damage, Soul Rending for the healing, Fell Eruption for the interruption, and Unleashed Power in order to use Chaos Nevermore, and of course Demonic for the healing and increased damage. Now for legendaries you can go with pretty much anything, but some are better than others. Probably the best free legendaries that you can use in this challenge are the Magnum Opus for defense, Acorn the Eternal Hunger again for defense, and Radon's Cascading Eyes for more usage of eye beams. As for buffs, it's recommended that you go with food and flasks and such, but those aren't necessary if you're well geared. If you're a little low on item level though, say around 900, then I recommend that you bring as many buffs as possible because every bit of damage is crucial in this challenge. So now into the fight itself, so I will try and explain as much as possible about the fight because the fight is fairly complicated, but at the same time it's not overly complicated. So the first part of the fight starts with you just against him and he's casting a lot of frost bolts. Now these can be interrupted and it's highly recommended that you do interrupt them because they all deal a few million damage per hit and if they hit you too much you will just die, simple as that, because your self healing will not keep you alive forever. And you also may notice there's a thing in the middle of the arena shoots out four beams. Don't touch these beams because these will also do damage, but not a huge amount of damage so you can pass through them, but don't stand in them because they will do a lot of damage over time and I believe they also push you, so it's kind of annoying. 
Now, next up he's going to do this thing here, which he's doing called Razor Ice. Now, this is an attack that's quite annoying to deal with, but is not too difficult. So basically, I did it a bit quick there, but if you go back and watch the footage, you'll see that I sort of used eye beams to break the ice and then escape. Now, that's not the only way to deal with it, because there are other ways that you can deal with it. You can deal with it by jumping over it, or you can just straight up kill it. Now, I was able to do it with a single eye beams because I'm obviously strong enough, but if you're not strong enough, you might not be able to kill the ice in with one eye beams. So you may either have to use other AoE or just straight up jump over it. And it's recommended that you jump over it, but at the same time, killing it is probably recommended if you can do it with just one eye beams. Don't try not to use things like Fear of the Eladaria though, because these because you're going to need the damage on him for the fight, because as I said before, every bit of damage is crucial. Now, now this phase here is where things get really tricky. This is the mirror image phase, and if you screw this phase up, you will just die straight as that. And I died to this phase many times throughout my attempts, because basically in this phase, I'm doing it a bit quickly, so it's kind of hard to see, but every single time he does this phase, he will appear in a random place on the edge of the arena and will be represented by a few sparkly things. And you have to try and find that as quickly as possible in order to kill him in time, because Every time you step out on one of the little bubbles that are spawned after you kill a mirror image, if you step out of that bubble you will get snared and take a huge dot and it will kill you very quickly. Now for a demon hunter what I recommend is that you try and find the clone that's furthest away from your current position and kill that using combination of fell rush and uh, something like blade dance or whatever and you should be able to kill it really quickly and just keep doing this and keep using combination of fell rush and vengeful retreat and get to asylum as quickly as possible and you, all you have to do is just touch him and once you touch him you'll enter into the next phase which we are entering right now which is of course the shadow phase and now in this phase he's going to cast arcane barrage which is very similar to frostbolt in fact it's almost identical to frostbolt in that it's a damaging ability that can be interrupted so once this phase is done you go into yet another mirror image phase which as you can see right now so as you can see right now I'm using a combination of fell rush and vengeful retreat to get around them and try not to get hit by the ability as well because as you can see every time you get hit by that you get pushed back quite a lot which really hampers on your progress but if you can get through that phase and not die and just stay in the bubbles then you should be fine now back into the shadow phase, he's going to cast this thing here called Shadow F Shadow Barrage, which will shoot a whole bunch of shadow bolts at you, and if you, hit, if you get hit by one of those, you'll get momentarily stunned and take a lot of damage, and it will normally kill you, so it's highly recommended that you avoid that. Now back into the frost phase here, you saw that I used um, Fear of the Eladari to kill that uh, Razor Ice, but it's recommended that you don't do that, you only do that if absolutely necessary. And also... You can't stand in the middle of the Razor Eyes for too long, because one, he'll be frostbolting you from across the arena, and also, he'll be casting like a blizzard on the Razor Eyes, which will kill you pretty quickly. So, every time that happens, get out of that as quickly as possible, and get over to him as fast as you can, because if you don't, you'll just stay up die. Simple as that. So once you've gotten past all the frost phase and the shadow phase, which are mostly pretty okay, and also something else I forgot to mention, in the shadow phase he's also going to use an ability called draw power. Now this has to be interrupted as quickly as possible, because if you don't interrupt this as fast as possible, he will get a buff for his damage, which will last for the rest of the fight, and, and that will normally result in you just straight up dying, because the damage will then be too much and your self-healing won't be enough to keep you alive and you'll just die, simple as that. So what I recommend is you always have consume hunger free so that you can use that to interrupt the draw power so that he never gets too high on the uh, stacks. Because if he gets too high on the stacks, he will just kill you really quickly. So once all that's done, I hope you, hopefully you all understood all that. If not, then please let me know in the comments below and I'll explain anything. So next up, of course, is the third phase, which is the phase where you've taken down Xylem, and then it's revealed the big twist that he was being controlled all along by a spooky void monster. Now, this phase is probably one of the hardest phases, not the hardest part of the entire fight. So I'll try and explain it as best as I can. So this phase is very, very damage dependent. If you're not, if you don't have high damage, you're not going to do this phase. It's simple as that. So this is basically the gear check and the damage check. So what the guy is going to do is he's going to drop this sort of void stuff on the ground, which spreads across the arena over time. Which is why it's highly recommended that you pull him to the edge of the arena so that he doesn't like cast it in the middle and just just get rid of all your space from the start. Now he's also going to cast this thing here called Seed of Corruption which spawns free ads on top of you. Now in this phase don't interrupt Seed of Corruption because if you do it will just wipe you. 
So move as far away from him as possible over to like the edge of the arena and then he'll spawn three ads and kill these as quickly as you can, as fast as you can, use everything. Save Fury of the Eladari for these, use I Beam, use Throw Glaive, use all the Chaos Strikes you have, use Chaos Nova, use any sort of other snares like Master of the Glaive, use everything. Just use everything to kill these guys because these guys must die as fast as possible because if they get to the boss they will heal him basically up to full health and considering that you're already on like a time limit because if you run out of space then you die, it, you really can't afford him gaining any health back. So you have to kill those as quickly as possible. That's the most important part of this phase. But apart from that, this phase is pretty simple, really. All you got to do is just keep slowly moving around the edge, like slowly, because if you move too quickly, he'll spread it faster, and that will result in you running out of space. Every time you cast Seed of Darkness, don't interrupt it, because otherwise he'll just spawn them right next to himself. And then when he spawns the ads, kill them as quickly as possible, like you see here. And then go back to him as quickly as you can. Do all the damage you can, and everything should be fine. So either way, that's pretty much all the f that's pretty much all I can think about for the fight. So, yeah. So if you guys understood all that, then thank you very much for listening. If you didn't understand some parts of it, then please let me know in the comments below, and I will explain what I can. But either way, guys, hopefully this was handy for you out there doing your Xylem challenge as you're on your Havoc Demon Hunters. And hopefully you will succeed and get your challenge appearance for the Argus patch, which is currently out. And I will be making another video on World of Warcraft soon, so stay tuned for that, guys. But either way, I, in this attempt, I have officially beat it. So enjoy the rest of the attempt, and I will see you guys in the next video. So thank you for listening, and enjoy my victory reaction. Goodbye. Steady as she goes. Steady as she goes. Oh my god, come on. It's so close. It's so close. My heart is beating fast. Yes, 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 yes. Please tell me that's it. Please tell me. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. No shit. Oh my god, yes! Yes, please. Give me a portal out of this hellhole. Ah, oh. there you go, guys. I don't know how many attempts that was, but it will say in the video. Brave Demon Hunter. Ah. Oh. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching, that was the Xylem Challenge, and as you can tell, it's pretty hard. I don't know how many attempts it took me, but I'm guessing somewhere around 20. We'll see in the video. But either way, so my end verdict, it's pretty hard, it's pretty bloody hard, and very fine-tuned. That was super close even from my level of DPS, which is quite high. So yeah, but either way, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!